Hey, Ben Kaiser here from BenjiKaiser.com, coming at you with some graphic design tutorials. And today we're going to impose a document in order to do a gang up printing. Now what gang up printing is, is you're going to print two documents or two designs on one sheet of paper. We're going to be doing this on the Konica Minolta BizHub printer. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start by importing a job, top left corner. Click the plus, and I've already navigated to the document that I'm selecting, so I'm just going to open that, but you're going to navigate through and pick the document that you wish to print. So I'm going to open that up now, and click hold. Alright, now once that's held, you're going to select it, so it's highlighted in blue, right click, and come down to impose. Alright, so now we're in the fiery impose screen. Come over here and click gang up. Now after gang up, we're going to make sure we do repeat because we're going to repeat the same document on one sheet of paper. And right now this looks kind of funky and because we need to put the paper we're going to print on in the sheet selection dialog box. So we're going to be 12 by 18 and still it's just not quite right but you got to realize the orientation is very important. So click landscape and sets up the orientation. All right, now in order to ensure that you get the correct bleeds um, on your documents, that you have document bleed setups, we're going to define a gutter. And I always define a 0.25 gutter because I have 0.125 bleeds set up on my documents. And we're going to define that here. 0.125, and we'll just click up into here so it sets it. All right, so now what that's doing is that's putting the bleed when I add the marks so it's correct when I go to trim the document. So now we're going to add the marks for our document in order to make sure that we trim it in the correct position. And as you see, these will actually overlap one another, but that'll give us the correct trim marks when we go to cut and trim the document to the correct sizes. All right, so again, make sure you have gang up, repeat, correct document size, correct orientation, gutter, bleed and marks. So now I'm just going to come here to the corner and click X. It's going to ask me basically do you want to save and I'm going to say yes. All right now from there you're going to you have this DBP and this is your imposed document. So now in order to print this we're going to go down to properties. We can't click print quite yet. So we're going to go to properties and we're going to click Adobe PDF print engine preferred Come down to media, select our newsletter paper, and that's actually our 12 by 18. We just have a standard newsletter paper that we use. And our image is image smoothing. And that's all you need to do within your properties. Now, if you want to print more, like 100 or 300, whatever you want, you can set that here. But for just for the sake, we're just going to print one today. And then you would click print. Alright, so that's what it takes to impose and gang up a document to print two documents or designs on one sheet of paper in order to maximize the efficiency and the cost of your printing. Thanks for tuning in today and catch us here on more printing and design tutorials at BenjiKaiser.com.